Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. It's a hot day out here. Hot, steamy, humid. It'd be a good day for a light beer, except I've got an IPA that's been in my fridge for weeks. I don't remember when I bought it exactly. Unfortunately, I, for, I forgot what I paid for it. I think it was between three and five bucks, though. It's from Industrial Arts Brewing. They're out of... Uh, the can says Beacon, New York. Their website says Garnerville, New York. So, whatever. Uh, it's called Torque Wrench. Both of those towns are along the Hudson River, north of New York City. So maybe the headquarters is in Garnerville and the brewery is in Beacon. This one's an 8.2% ABV. It's a hazy IPA. And untapped, all they say really is it's sticky and tropical. But it does get a 412 with 33,000 reviews. That's actually a pretty good score. So I brought out a New York glass from uh, Long Island, the Blue Point Brewing that my buddy Chris gave me up in Vermont. I hate gnats. Here we go. Does smell tropical, tropical grapefruit, the normal IPA flavors. I was gonna do this one inside, but I decided it's sunny out here, I should do it out here. At least I'm in the shade on this end of the table. The other end of the table is in the sunlight. It's hazy, looks like pineapple juice or grapefruit juice. Nice tropical aroma. Nothing, nothing too fancy though. Let's get a taste of that head. Blue Point was a World Beer Cup gold medal winner. Away, nuts. I think the nuts smell the beer, they want it. Go away. I think one actually got in the beer. The head tastes good. But it's pretty basic, tropical. And it's not an overpowering flavor, it's kind of light. Let's try the body, cheers. It's nice. This can was brewed on May 16th, and today I think is July 7th. A little over, a little under two months. I should still be good, right? Torque Wrench, Industrial Arts. Their other beers are all named after tools like Impact Wrench, Wrench, other tools, I forget what they are exactly. Mostly things you would find in a garage. This is piney and tropical. Uh, it's not overpowering. It's not real bitter. It has a pithy bitterness. Kind of a moderate pithy bitterness. Um, it's not real sweet. It's kind of middle of the road. Well, it might be three out of five on the sweetness. And the bitterness is uh, three, three and a half out of five. More like three, three out of five, you know. Kind of a moderate, moderate bitterness. If you like some bitterness, but you don't want real bitter beers, this would be a good one for you. Uh, 
this is not exactly blowing my hair back. Of course, I don't have much hair. Um, it's good. But I don't think I'll remember this one. It's just kind of good. I'm going to give this one a B. 85 out of 100. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's not, uh, it doesn't stand out. It's easy to drink. It tastes pretty good. Piney and tropical. And that's about it, really. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing else. So I would recommend giving it a try for yourself. I mean, it's not bad. But I would not, I will not go out of my way to get it, that's for sure. And being a reviewer, I got to keep moving on to other things. I won't, I won't go back for this one again. And that's going to do it. Uh, thank you for watching. I sure appreciate it. I'll catch you next time. Probably inside. It's too hot out here. Bye.